YouTube, what's going on? This preacher, how y'all doing this morning? So, just watch my last video. I had a rough day yesterday. Very short load. With all my shippers taking them at least three and a half hours to four hours to unload. So they finally gave me my other load to get me home back to Florida for my um, home time. So I get to the place, the place closed. I spoke with the, book, the broker earlier and the broker told me that, okay, you got the 10 o'clock. Well, I got there like 5.55, closed, gate locked, the whole nine yards. Call the people, no answer. Call the broker back, the broker was like, are you in the right place? Yeah, I'm in the right place. What address do you got? Give them the address you got. I'm like, yeah, I gave it, so I gave them that address. I even took a picture of their marquee with their address on it. When I said, do you want me to send you this picture I just took with the address in, in the name of the company uh, to y'all? No, no, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Let me call somebody. So they calling people. They calling people. I'm not getting no answer. They're not getting no answer. A driver for the company came up and told me, they closed. Ain't nobody up in there. I'm like, what? What? What you mean ain't nobody? They said, no, nah, they gone for the day. Ain't nobody up in there. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, I'm getting this lint out my head. I, I, I'm just like, what? This, this, this can't be happening. Not three times in a row now. Not three times in a row. Dealing with these and shippers. Like, really? I'm like, I'm like, really? Especially the load that the company gave me, they only went 13 miles now. Nine miles dead here, and then 13 miles to um, pick up the trailer and take there which the load was already late when they even gave me the load. Then I get there, I got to deal with their attitudes. And sometimes I just feel like the company don't, don't understand. We as the driver got to deal with their attitude. Well, you late. I'm like, well, I'm not late. Whoever was supposed to have delivered this load is late, but me, I'm not late. I just got this trailer like 30 minutes ago. And I just got this load total like 45 minutes ago. I can't help it that it's two hours late. You know, they don't got nothing to do with me. And when I first, when they gave me the load, I told them that too. I said, well, you, you know, I can't pick that load up or, or deliver it on time. It's like 12, 12, 11, they send me the load and the load's supposed to be there at 12.30 and I'm still getting unloaded at my other, uh, my initial stop that I made it to on time. You know, then you got to get to this place and then you got to deal with their attitude, they sucking their teeth and you still trying to be professional now. But boy, woo. They just don't know God ain't through with me yet now. He's still working on me. He's still working on me, but I'm on a, oof. I had to pray a couple times, man. Let me tell you, I had to pray a couple times. Boy, they, they attitude, the attitudes is something serious. So, now I only have, at that point, I only had like two and a half hours left after waiting an hour and a half for them to figure out what was going on. So I told him, listen, I'm finna go find a place to park. I'm not finna sit around here and, and continue to wait. Well, it just, no, no, no. I'm in, up in the boondocks. I had to take back roads to get to this place. I'm in the boondocks. I'm like 40 minutes away from anything. I'm saying, I can't, I can't wait. I'm sorry. I'm finna go find me a place to park. Y'all give me a call in the morning and find out what's going on. I can't wait on y'all no more. I said, because even if y'all do find somebody or whatever, it could be 30, 40 minutes from now, I won't have time to go nowhere once I get loaded. And then you can't stay on the property. So I'd be stuck right there. I, I can't move. Then they're going to want to kick you off the property and everything when you can't move too. So I'm not going to be stuck like that. I'm going to go find me a place where I can park at for the night. Y'all give me a call in the morning. Get up in the morning. All right, so six o'clock, I'm, I'm, I'm back at it. Still not hearing nothing. So I finally told him, listen, I sent this big old message. Now I told him what was going on. And I just told him like, listen here, I'm, I'm not finna deal with it no more. I done dealt with it for over three hours of my time. Dealing with it. So y'all deal with it. Y'all y'all need to communicate with me what's going on. An hour and a half later, they still couldn't get in contact with the people as well. So I, I I don't know who. So now they finally took the load from me and then canceled my load and now they trying to find me another load. I mean, it's like four and a half hours to five hours. 
So I don't know if it was the booker. Uh, it had to be the um, the broker because, you know, Warner um, just gets the load from the brokers and the information from the brokers and then they give you the information. So it had to be the, the broker dropped the ball somewhere on the line of communication. But it sucks that when you have to deal with the problem with it. And, you know, I need to be home by Friday. Here it is Thursday, about 9 o'clock Thursday morning, and I'm still up in Atlanta. So I still got plenty of time to be home on Friday because, you know, it only would take me like a day, day and a half to get home. But if I've got a load, it could be the full two days and stuff. I just use personal drive time to come back home Friday night, Friday morning, uh, whatever I get finished. But... Man, I'm trying to tell you, man, these broker problems. And this is not the first time with the same broker. Okay, this is the second time that I um, I know of with me that this broker did messed up some kind of way with a load. That had me going out my way, and then you get there, and then the people don't know nothing about the load. This is the second time with the same broker now. C.H. Robertson is the broker. So I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know what's going on. As long as I make it home on time, that's my issue. Making it home on time. Because this load is supposed to be delivered about right about now. Today. In Florida. So, uh, I'm hoping I make it home on time. I swear for the Lord. You know, I got something to do. I got something to do. I got something to do. I put my time in on the road. Do what I'm supposed to do. They need to do what they're supposed to do. All right. A new message has arrived. Y'all hear that? Let me say what it is. I'll talk to y'all later.